What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Head to Head Seasons Diamond Dynasty. Today, uh, I know I haven't posted in a while and I said on Twitter I was going to do two uploads but I'm only able to get one out today because I'm going to a Mariners game. Uh, but this video is going to be a, you know, a different video of course as we are matched up with Coogs46. If you don't know him, make sure to subscribe to him. He's an amazing YouTuber. Uh, as he hits that hanging slider deep to right field oppo with Paul Goldschmidt. Uh, another uh, just late home run, I can't speak. Uh, but we try to pull a two seamer in on Buddy Bella. He hits a just late home run to right, oppo right field. As you know, he has a pop, uh, he has had pop to uh, righties, but it was a just late. We were both uh, talking on Twitter about all the just late BS happening in this game. Uh, but he has Dave Steve on the mound trying to do the breakout wins for the Doug Drabeck program. And we have Jacob DeGrom on the mound as Cano with that oppo to left field. No doubter. Another just late home run in the game. Uh, you know, this game was full of just late home runs. If you haven't seen the uh, the video on Coogs' channel, make sure to go check it out. He was talking about it as well. And if you think I'm complaining about just late home runs for no reason, uh, you should I mean, learn. I don't know. <laughs> that's not the right word to say because it sounds like I'm insulting you, but uh, that's not what I meant to say. Anyway, bottom of the fourth. Reggie Jackson's going to hit that one. The deep left field. That's an oppo. Another oppo just late home run. And then see, there's a just light sinker way inside to the lower corner of the plate. There's he, you can see right there on the bottom right of the screen. Uh, so we're winning 5-4. to four. He has Reds Griffey trying to finish that mission as well. Uh, he's uh, that into the gap, and I'll score a run. That'll tie the game up at 5. And into the top of the 6, he has Curtis Granderson, who's amazing against righties. I was almost mistaking myself with that pitch. I missed location, could have been crushed. But I luckily get a fly out to McCutcheon. Top of the seventh, uh, runner on second for Ian Kinsler. And Kinsler's going to hit that into the gap. That's an easy run for him. Uh, he has Lou Brock on second, 99 speed. He's going to go into third with a uh, breakout Kinsler, a.k.a. the Rangers Kinsler. And he'll take the 6-5 to five lead. We bring in Kelvin Herrera. We left Jacob DeGrom in for too long. He'll get he'll get Victor Martinez with the curveball. Fly out to Kelvin himself. For the first out of the inning. Still have a runner on third. He can easily take a two-run lead. Here's 97 Goldschmidt. He'll ground that one to Edgar at third. He'll throw on the uh, other Goldie at first. Just making sure that runner stays at third. And the first pitch to McCutcheon almost gets crushed. But Griffey in center field is locking that one down to retire the side. Leave that runner on third. Still has only a 1-1 read. Uh, and that's bottom of the seventh. We have Kevin Herrera up. But we pitch him. Hit him for Freddie Freeman. He hits that one, the deep left field. This game was full of oppo home runs, and that one will tie the game. And I don't know if that one was just late, didn't leave that into the clip. Uh, but still bottom of the seventh, we have our creative player YouTube clickbait up. He'll fly that one to the shortstop, Buddy Bell, for the f uh, final out of the inning. We're bringing Joaquin Soria. Really, uses the, it's the top of the ninth. We're going to fly that one out to Paul Goldschmidt at first. And in the bottom of the ninth, Edgar Martinez is going to win the deep right field. That one's going to go out, and that will give... I mean, excuse me, that's the bottom of the eighth inning. That would have been a walk-off. Uh, we take the lead on that one. And then we have Goldschmidt up. He brings in Edwin Diaz. Well, he already had Edwin Diaz in. But this is the first pulled home run in the entire game. That is a good swing. It's the first pulled home run in the entire game. And the first good swing home run in the game. So... We got some good, we actually had a, a legit home run on that one. Uh, but we do take the 8-6 lead, Steve Finley will ground out. We bring in Ke Kenley Jansen to close out the game. He has Danley Mur Daniel Murphy, not Danley Murphy. Uh, we fl he'll fly that out to my creative player at shortstop for the first out. He has a Lou Brock at first with Ian Kinsler up. We're going to do a sinker with a slide step. He's going to fly that one out to McCutcheon. Uh, as, you know, Coogs was surprised if McCutcheon made that catch as well. Uh, I didn't think he'll get there in time, but he does make that catch. And the first pitch to Victor Martinez is lined straight to, Ro uh, not Robson Cano, I said his name on the screen. Uh, but he lines that one to Paul Goldschmidt, and that'll be the game. We win 8-6. It was, you know, it was a random match. We matched up randomly and head-to-head. -head. Was This wasn't, uh, you know, uh, staged or anything. But yeah, good game to you, Coogs. I know this was a really late upload. He uploaded this, like, almost a week ago. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. Uh, upload should happen you know more regularly i'm sorry about that so you guys enjoy uh don't hurt me thank you guys for 600 subs and i'll see you guys in the next one